what is going on guys? So this is a video that's gonna explain the differences between these two paintball guns, the CS 1.5 and the CS 1. To me the CS 1.5 is about one thing, making the lightest version possible of the CS 1. There's a lot of details that can be found on the gun that just kind of show how much Planet Eclipse put into making the CS 1.5 as light as possible. They've milled out the thumb screw on the feed neck, comes the low rise feed neck, the pops on off is way smaller. They've taken material off the inside and the outside of the trigger frame, taken material off the body, and it does come with the new carbon fiber FL barrel that can be found on like the CSR, the LVR, or can be bought separate for any auto cocker threaded paintball gun. So with taking all that material off of those parts, they've been able to reduce the overall weight by 95 grams, or for reference, 32 paintballs. It's just a lighter version of the CS1. So it's still gonna feel very similar. The trigger frame feels the same, the foregrip feels the same, and it also shoots the same. The bolt's the same, solenoid's the same, all that important stuff that like control how a gun shoot or how it feels are gonna remain the same on the CS1.5 as the CS1 or CSR. The biggest thing that you notice right away on the 1.5 over the CS1 is that body. So they've taken quite a bit of material off the body, made it a little bit more streamlined, so it looks a little bit more similar to the CSR, how it's that like smooth body shape, there's not as much waviness, and it just overall reduced the weight. I personally, I like the way the thing looks. I think it looks better than the CS1, and CSR for that matter. One of the things that I always thought was weird about the CS1 was how big the pops on off was. And on the CSR, they made it a little bit smaller, but they really, really went for it on the CS1.5. I mean, it's dramatically smaller. Like, it's a lot smaller. I'm assuming that's where most of the weight savings are. Like, it is so much smaller. It's kind of like, why didn't they just do that from the beginning with the CS1? But I guess it just doesn't look as smooth and clean, uh, but it's gotta have a lot of weight savings. That lower or low rise feed neck is also something that's unique to the CS 1.5. They just kind of like lopped off part of the feed neck to make it lower. Your hopper is still gonna sit at the same height though unless you like cut part of the feed tube off on your hopper. And like I said in the beginning, I really like the details on this thing. You can see that thumb screw right there. They just really cut a bunch of material off of it. The CS 1.5 also comes with the blade trigger that's found on the CSR. I don't know if that's necessarily like a weight savings or just a feature thing. I think Planet Eclipse found that people really liked the blade trigger, so they just added it. Another step that Planet Eclipse took to save some weight was included the FL barrel, the carbon fiber barrel that was first seen on the CSR, but now can be bought individually. It's lighter, I mean it's about half the weight of the shaft 5 or shaft 4 barrels. So now's the time when I tell you what I actually think of the CS 1.5. If you guys watch a lot of these videos or are on the live streams ever, you would know that like, I like a CS 1. I think it shoots well, I think it's a good paintball gun, but it was just like too big and like heavy for me. So I stuck with my 3.5. This isn't something that I was actually gonna include in this video because I'm not sure how to explain it, but this gun like feels smaller. I don't know what it is, but when I hold the trigger frame like in my hand like this, it feels smaller. I don't know why. I mean, it's the same exact grips as the CS1 or like CSR. And I actually took the grips off this gun. I took the grips off the CS1 and like measured all over the place and really couldn't find a difference. Sometimes I noticed a difference, sometimes I didn't. So it wasn't dramatic enough to like include it and be like, hey, they made the grip frame smaller, but it f feels smaller. I don't know why, but it feels better in my hands than the CS1. So I like the CS1.5. I think the steps that Planet Eclipse has gone to to reduce like the overall weight of the gun is noticeable. That 95 grams might not sound like a lot, but I notice it. Like when I hold the gun, it feels lighter and it feels better in my hands. So that's a plus to me because I always kind of like the CS1. I like the way it shot. I think they're good guns. I just didn't like the way it felt. So now that it feels better, I don't know, it's growing on me but I'm still gonna wait for Planet Eclipse possibly to release the CS2 in November at World Cup. At least I will wait until then, and if they don't come out with a new gun, I still won't be buying the CS1.5. I'll probably still stick with my 3.5 until Planet Eclipse comes out with something that's just like, whoa, that's pretty cool, and then I might buy a new gun, but yeah. 
So guys, that wasn't necessarily like a review of the CS 1.5, mainly because I don't know if it's merited. There's plenty of CS 1 reviews out there. And the CS 1.5 is just like an update or a refresh to the current guns. So if you have CS 1 questions, do leave a comment below. I am gonna get better at answering everyone's comments, so leave a comment below. Or check out, let's go with another Planet Eclipse review right there. Hit the square button to check out the paintball room on my store. Or the circle button and subscribe.